So today I want to talk to you about three new colors of the Burberry Sheer eyeshadows that I picked up. I already had four colors, Dark Sable, Taupe Brown, Rosewood, and Pale Barley. So I picked up three more because I just love the formula of Burberry eyeshadows. So let's take a look at them. And of course I'm sure all of you have seen the wonderful packaging. And I'm sure most everyone on YouTube has seen someone talk about the actual products. They come beautifully packaged. They have great cases to keep them in. They're just a little bulky, but really well worth it. To me, the formulas of these shadows are worth the $30. I think it's a little under $30 actually. But to me, they're well worth the price. The first one is number 17, Pearl Grey. A beautiful pearl grey color, exactly what you would expect if someone were to say pearl grey to you. It is not matte, obviously. It has a, what you would consider pearl sort of a finish. It has a beautiful sheen to it. I'm wearing it today on my eyes along with the three other colors. So pearl grey for me, definitely a winner. I actually prefer it a lot more over the rosewood and pale barley. Pale barley is probably my least favorite, but that's because I sort of tend more towards the cool toned eyeshadows. I really am not a big fan of the lighter warm tones. Anyway, that's just personal preference. The formula is still magnificent, color payoff is still great. It's just not the color that works best with me. So. Moving on to the other color that I got was number 18, Midnight Black. Now to me, Midnight Black is a fantastic black. <laughs> this is what I would call sort of a foolproof black. You can't really go wrong. It is not as dark and heavily pigmented as Blackout from Urban Decay. Again, it's not a matte black, which I think sort of helps in its favor. You can see it's got a beautiful sheen to it, and it's not what you would call a true deep black. It's, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more of like a charcoal gray, depending on what sort of lighting you're looking at it in. I think it's fantastic. You really cannot go wrong. And so something that I want to point out when I talk about these two darker shades of the Midnight Black and then the next one I'm going to show you is that they are a sheer eyeshadow. They're an eye enhancer. So the first swipe that you have of them is going to be very sheer. It's not going to be highly pigmented and it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a sheer wash of color, as I like to say. But don't be fooled, you can build these up to be pretty dramatic and dark still. It's just going to take a little more pressure on the product, dip your brush in a little bit harder, it's not going to crumble, don't worry. And if you pick up more, you definitely will be able to build it up to a pretty dark look. Like It's all that I'm wearing on my eyes today, these three shadows, so you can see it can provide a pretty dark look. So this, Midnight Black, definitely one of my favorites. And on to the last of the new colors is number 19, Midnight Plum. And it's a beautiful purple shade. You can see again, not a matte. All of the Midnight colors are definitely not mattes. And you can see it's just a beautiful deep purple. Now I know some people have had problems getting the purple to show up on their eyes and not just be a dark deep color. But it depends on first what you put down to begin with and then it's also going to depend on how much product you're actually putting on your eyes. The first layering of it in a very sheer way is not going to show up as purple as it looks in the pan. You really have to apply a bit more product to be able to have it show up to be this dark purple. Now of these three shadows, I really have nothing like the first two that I showed you that to compare to. I did find some colors that were remotely similar to the Midnight Plum shade. And I'll show them to you now. The first one that I wanna really compare it to is number five, Eggplant, which is a shimmer wash eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown. 
and you can see the two of them have very similar coloring and a very similar sheen to them. The next thing that I'm going to compare is the Hourglass Eyeshadow Duo in Exhibition, the very dark color that you see right here compared to the Midnight Plum. Again, very similar sort of finish in that it has a sheen to it and then very similar color. I have all three swatched on my hand. You can see that the Bobbi Brown Eggplant and the Midnight Plum are both very similar first applications. These were just one swipe with my finger and so you can see they both come off as the same sort of sheerness at first. The difference between the Exhibition Hourglass Duo is that its first swipe is much darker to start off with than both the Bobbi Brown and the Midnight Plum. But you can work this Midnight Plum up to be just as dark as the um, Hourglass starts out as. The difference is, if you enjoy that sheer color at first, say you're not as bold and adventurous, you don't want a dark, it's great to be able to start out with a Midnight Plum being lighter than what you start out with the Hourglass being, and with the option of being able to build up to that more intense look. The difference between the Burberry Midnight Plum and the Bobbi Brown Eggplant is that while they both have very similar colors, they have different formulas. The Bobbi Brown to me is drier, harder to work with, not as nice at blending. And the Burberries of course are well known for their great formulas, blendability, the way they feel on the eyes, long lasting, they're just fantastic formulas. So for me, I would take the Midnight Plum any day over the Bobbi Brown eggplant. Hourglass has a great formula. I would say comparable to Burberry, not as smooth and creamy feeling when you're applying it, but still a great eyeshadow. If you already have one or the other, you probably don't need, <laughs> you, you're never going to need three of these sort of deep plum purples, unless of course you're me and you just really love purple eyeshadows and you can never get enough of them. If you're wondering about cost value per amount, the Bobbi Brown and the Burberry are both equal amounts of product at 2.5 grams or 0.08 ounces. So that was just a quick look at my three new Burberry eyeshadow shades. If you have these shades or any others, let me know what you think about them and which one is your favorite. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.